Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one numerical problem on coagulation of water sample. So first of all let us see the question. Determine the quantity of alum required in order to treat 40 mld water at a treatment plant where 18 mg per liter of alum dose is required. If the raw water is having an alkalinity equivalent to 5 mg per liter of CaCO3, determine the quantity of filter alum and quick lime containing 85% of CaO required per year by the plant. So in this problem, we are required to find the quantity of filter alum and the quantity of quick lime. Now, the quick lime, whatever you are using in this question, it is not 100% pure. It only contains 85% CaO. The remaining 15% is impurity. So first of all, the first part, quantity of filter alum requirement. So to calculate that one, first of all, let us write down the given data. That is quantity of water to be treated per day. 40 MLD MLD means million liter per day so 40 into 10 to the power 6 liter per day and also the filter alum required per day is 18 milligram per liter so for 1 liter amount of filter alum required is 18 milligram so for this much amount of liter how much amount of filter alum is required you can easily calculate by this equation okay so per day requirement of filter alum is 18 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 ultimately it is coming as 720 kg per day so 720 kg is required for one day so in the question it is given that required amount per year by the plant okay so for one year this value should be multiplied with 365 here 720 multiplied by 365 ultimately if you convert the value into tons you are getting 262.8 tons okay so now the next part the requirement of quick lime so first of all to calculate the quick lime quantity requirement we need to see the theory part that is whenever filter alum will be added to the water sample that filter alum will react with the bicarbonate present in your water sample say for example your water sample contains calcium bicarbonate so whenever this alum you are adding to the water sample this will react with this calcium bicarbonate to produce aluminium hydroxide precipitation or the flux Similarly, some byproduct calcium sulfate water molecule carbon dioxide. Okay, so in this equation, also you can see that one unit of alum is reacting with three unit of calcium bicarbonate. Here it is one, here it is three. So one unit of alum is reacting with three unit of calcium bicarbonate also by using the molecular weight of aluminium sulfur oxygen hydrogen calcium and carbon you can calculate the molecular weight of each and every compound just calculate on your own you can get the same result molecular weight of alum is triple six for calcium bicarbonate it is 162 for calcium carbonate it is 100 and for calcium oxide it is 56 okay so what we are discussing that one unit of alum is reacting with three unit of calcium bicarbonate if we take the part that is how much alum part is reacting with how much calcium carbonate part then we can say that triple six part of alum is reacting with 3 into 162 part of calcium bicarbonate why because one part of one unit of alum means triple six 
unit or triple six kg gram milligram anything similarly three unit of calcium bicarbonate means three into 162 part also you can see one thing that if we dissociate calcium bicarbonate then from calcium bicarbonate we can get calcium carbonate similarly if we dissociate calcium carbonate we can get calcium oxide or in reverse case you can say that calcium oxide is required to produce calcium carbonate similarly calcium carbonate is required to produce calcium bicarbonate and from this equation the equation is also balanced so from this equation we can say that one unit of calcium bicarbonate can be produced from one unit of calcium carbonate similarly one unit of calcium carbonate can be produced from one unit of calcium oxide or in reverse case one unit of calcium oxide is required to produce one unit of calcium carbonate similarly one unit of calcium carbonate is required to produce one unit of calcium bicarbonate so here for the reaction with alum 3 into 162 part of calcium bicarbonate that means three unit were reacting with one unit of alum so in place of three unit of calcium bicarbonate we can take three un equivalent unit of calcium carbonate similarly three equivalent unit of calcium oxide okay so in the next page we can see the same thing that is three molecule of calcium bicarbonate is equivalent to three molecule of calcium carbonate that is three into 162 part of calcium bicarbonate is equivalent to 3 into 100 parts of calcium carbonate so directly we can relate the alum with calcium carbonate okay so from the above reaction we can see that triple six part of alum reacts with 3 into 100 parts of calcium carbonate now for each and every liter the amount of alum or filter alum required is 18 parts 18 unit 18 milligram whatever you can take 18 parts i am writing so triple six part is reacting with this much amount of calcium carbonate so 18 part of alum will react with this part uh, this much amount of calcium carbonate so ultimately we are getting that 8.108 milligram part of calcium carbonate per liter of water sample so during the removal of alkalinity we need to maintain suitable alkalinity so during the removal of so to produce a optimum coagulation process we need to maintain suitable alkalinity in this case we are getting that for one liter of water sample we need to maintain 8.108 milligram alkalinity as CaCO3 but from the question it is given that only 5 milligram per liter alkalinity as CaCO3 is present in your water sample so the rest amount or the extra amount that is from 8.108 minus 5 whatever you are getting 3.108 milligram per liter calcium carbonate alkalinity you have to maintain by adding some calcium oxide now that amount we need to calculate so here come to the next page that is we can say that natural alkalinity available in our water sample is 5 milligram per liter and alkalinity to be maintained in the water sample for optimum coagulation is 8.108 milligram per liter so additional amount to be added is 3.108 milligram per liter now from the same equation that is 
वन यूनिट ऑफ कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड इज रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोड्यूस वन यूनिट ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट इफ यू टेक द पार्ट्स दैट इज फिफ्टी सिक्स पार्ट्स ऑफ कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड इज रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोड्यूस हंड्रेड पार्ट्स ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट और इन रिवर्स केस वी कैन राइट डाउन दैट हंड्रेड पार्ट्स ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम फिफ्टी सिक्स पार्ट्स ऑफ कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड और हंड्रेड पार्ट्स ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द ऑप्टिमम रिएक्शन विथ फिफ्टी सिक्स पार्ट ऑफ सी एओ दैट्स वाई वी कैन कैलकुलेट दैट थ्री पॉइंट वन जीरो एट पार्ट ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द ऑप्टिमम रिएक्शन विथ सी एओ सो we can say that 100 parts of calcium carbonate is required for optimum reaction with 56 parts of calcium oxide similarly you can calculate for 3.108 part of calcium carbonate for the optimum reaction how much amount of cao is required that is from the calculation it is coming as 1.74 mg per liter okay so the quick lime we are using it is having 85% purity not 100% pure so ultimately calcium oxide is required this much milligram per liter so whatever quick lime you are using having 85% purity of calcium oxide the amount of quick lime required can be calculated from this equation that is 1.74 divided by 85% Ultimately, the quick lime requirement is 2.05 milligram per liter. It signifies that if we add 